Hello everyone, welcome to one of Yemen's most historic and fascinating sites, Sira Castle. This ancient fortress, also known as, Sira Fortress, stands proudly on top of Sira Island in the port city of Aden. This castle is more than just an impressive structure on a rocky hill, it's a symbol of Aden's resilience, pride, and incredible history. Built over a thousand years ago, Sira Castle has stood through countless changes in power, culture, and civilization, making it one of Yemen's greatest treasures. Sira Castle was originally constructed around the 11th century. During this time, Yemen was a crucial stop along the ancient trade routes, connecting Asia, Africa, and Europe. Aden, in particular, was a bustling port city, welcoming traders, explorers, and travelers from all around the world. With so much wealth and activity, the city became a target for invaders, so it needed strong defenses to protect itself. That's why Sira Castle was built, to defend Aden from threats coming from the sea and surrounding lands. It served as a watchful guardian over the Gulf of Aden, allowing guards to keep an eye out for any approaching ships or enemy forces. Positioned high on a rocky hill, the castle had a clear view of both the land and sea, making it an ideal place for defense. When you first see Sira Castle, you'll notice its powerful design. This fortress is made from solid stone and was constructed with thick walls, making it a stronghold that could withstand attacks. The stones blend into the rocky island itself, giving the impression that the castle is a natural part of the landscape. This seamless connection between the castle and the island shows the ingenuity and skill of the builders who designed it. The towers rise high above the island, giving the guards a perfect vantage point to look out over the Gulf of Aden. Just by looking at it, you can tell this was not just a building but a fortress designed with one purpose, to protect Aden and its people. Inside Sira Castle, there are remnants of old rooms and storage areas that give us clues about what life was like here long ago. These rooms likely served as storage for food, water, and weapons, which were essential for anyone defending the castle. One fascinating feature of Sira Castle is its rainwater collection system. This system allowed the castle to store fresh water, which would have been crucial during a siege or any prolonged conflict. This intelligent design shows us just how well prepared the castle was for any situation. It was not just built for the short term but was designed to withstand long periods of isolation, making it a truly strategic fortress. As the years went by, Sira Castle became a witness to Aden's complex history. Yemen's strategic location made it a target for empires and foreign powers, and each of these periods left its mark on Sira Castle. During the Ottoman era, the castle was maintained as part of the region's defenses, helping to protect the trade routes that passed through Yemen. Later, when the British Empire established control over Aden in the 19th century, Sira Castle continued to play an important role in guarding the port. These shifts in power and culture show us how Aden's history is woven into the walls of Sira Castle. Each stone has its own story, a reminder of the many hands that have worked to protect this land and keep its people safe. In modern times, Sira Castle has taken on a new role. It's no longer a fortress guarding against invaders, but instead, it has become a symbol of Yemen's proud heritage. Locals and visitors alike come to Sira Castle to admire its architecture, explore its history, and enjoy the breathtaking views of Aden and the Gulf. The castle is a popular site for those who want to connect with Yemen's past, and standing at the top of Sira Castle, you can almost feel the echoes of history all around you. It's an experience that fills you with respect for the strength and resilience of the people who lived here and defended this city for centuries. And for all of us, it serves as a reminder of the value of history and the power of resilience. Thank you.